Hey, ambitious professionals, it's Linda Rayner of lindarayner.com, guiding you to a career and life you'll truly enjoy. And today I'm going to be talking to an awesome top-notch resume student of mine. Her name is Cherry. She is going to talk to you about how she was able to land her dream job in data analytics, having used my course, and she's going to share some tips with you as well. Ready to get the job you want? Top Notch Interview is coming soon. For more info and free training, head to jointni.com. Wow. Cherry, thank you so much for joining me here today. Hi, Linda. Thank you for having me. So, Cherry, can you tell everyone a little bit about your background and your story? Yes, of course. I'm Cherry. I am an international student from China. I came to the U.S. about five years ago and finished my undergraduate as well as graduate degrees in the United States. I have a passion in public health and specifically health data analysis. And I really hope that I can gain more experience from working uh, full-time jobs uh, in this field. Okay, great. So you studied public health data analytics, gra undergraduate and graduate level. And since you graduated, did you have any jobs? Like what was going on with your job search? Yeah, I actually started uh, job searching even before I graduated from my uh, master degree. However, it did not successfully go through and I started doing, I guess, most of my job applications after graduation which happens in late April, early May. And then since then, I searched jobs and applied for jobs and interviewed for about two months on my own. However, um, did not really get any successful interviews. That's the reason why I started taking uh, Linda's top-notch resume courses. And then since then, I kept doing my job application for about a month and then successfully learned uh, one of my dream jobs. Oh, that's great. That's amazing. So you searched for your job for two months. You had some interviews. What were your results before Top Notch Resume and what were your results after Top Notch Resume? Yes, before I took Top Notch Resume course, I applied for about 60 jobs on my own and was only able to get five interviews invitations. However, those interviews went uh, nowhere, didn't actually go through to the uh, last stages. And after I took the um, top-notch resume course, I only applied for 15 jobs and was able to get 11 interviews, invitations. And that was able to lead me to the final dream job in Boston. Amazing. So when you applied for jobs, basically you had just graduated from your undergraduate and your master's program. You had zero work experience. On top of that, you were an international student. Um, so you had all these things that, you know, no experience and your international student kind of working against you. How did you feel when you were applying and searching for jobs? Yeah, definitely. I was feeling disappointed and also felt hopeless and helpless at that moment during that period. First of all, I was constantly being told that someone with full-time working experience or just more experience in this field have been selected to fill this position. And second, a lot of times during phone interviews, when after they know that I am not from the U.S., I do not have the U.S. citizenship, they constantly just hung up on me or cut off the interview short. So that was a very painful experience. Right. And now I guess this is where I'm curious, because even after taking top notch resume and having a much better resume, it's not like that situation changed. You were still an international student or, you know, not a U.S. citizen. But how did employers see you differently? Yes, that's a very good question. I think before I took top notch resume, I was sort of trapped in this little circle thinking that all the interviews went nowhere because of I don't have the citizenship. However, afterwards I realized having a strong competitive resume can actually convince the hiring managers 
to hire you even though you do not have a citizenship because you are more qualified than any U.S. citizens in the market. So they would rather hire someone that's more equipped in skills that they are looking for, as well as people with you know good personalities and good communication skills that they are looking for, rather than hire someone because of their citizenship. Okay, that's great. So what we, what you had initially thought that it was kind of an excuse, maybe, or what you thought was, oh, it's because I'm not from here, I'm not a citizen, that's why they're not hiring me. But the reality was. It was maybe more because of your resume. Would you agree? Yeah, I would agree with that. However, I do acknowledge the difficulties that international students are going through during the job application. Yes. Yeah, I understand that too. And you know, I do have experience with people who have those issues. But just like you, once they change their methods, their strategies on how they were selling themselves and how they were approaching employers and presenting themselves in front of employers, there were still employers out there that were willing to change their mind and actually take on those types of job candidates. And so you are, you know, one of the lucky ones, I guess. But then again, you did all the work. You worked hard to get yourself there. So I'm curious, did the company sponsor you? Is that what happens、uh, for you to be able to work there? Actually, the company is not sponsoring me right now、uh, because I'm still on the student visa, and then because of the field I study. They actually give us about three years of visa that without any sponsorship, so it's a sort of a three-year extension form of the student visa. Yes. Okay, that's great. That's awesome. So you have three years to really build up your experience, and then once you do that, you can move on and move upwards in in your career. So that's fantastic. So, how do you feel now, Cherry? How how do you feel about yourself now? How do you feel about your career? You know, what's going on inside, emotionally, mentally, for you? I definitely feel more of a relief after I was able to land、uh, one of my dream jobs, and also I feel more confident in myself because before that I was constantly doubting myself. Uh, you know whether coming to the U.S. to study as well as staying here to look for a job is the right decision for me. Maybe I should search in another field, or maybe I should search jobs in another country. So I constantly had those doubts. However, right now I'm more confident in even just talking about my past experience. To people, whether it's to hiring manager or just to friends, I definitely gain more confident and then know the best way to structure and then to present my past experience based on who am I talking to. Yeah, and also I feel excited about my new jobs, which is gonna start soon. That's great. I'm so glad for you, and I'm so excited for you. So congratulations on that. You did. All the hard work. So yeah, I think you're gonna have a great. This is a great start to your career for sure. Thank you so much. Yes, I deeply appreciate. You know, I was able to find top-notch resume course online and then register for it and took the course and did all the work according to course material. I really appreciate the material Linda present. And I think that's one of the key factors why I was able to land the job and start a new chapter of my life. Oh, you're welcome, Cherry. Thank you for taking the course and thank you for sharing your story. I hope that it's going to inspire so many others, just like you, to hopefully also take the program because I think it is necessary. You know, when you go to school. You apply for jobs. No one really teaches you the way as to how hiring managers want to see your resume. Nobody really teaches you how to showcase your experience and your skill set. And so that's why I created Top Notch Resume to teach people that, so that they can become more competitive and get the career that they deserve. So I'm glad that you are a living example of that. So again, thank you for sharing your story. So Cherry, what words of wisdom or advice do you have for people who are just Like you, yes. For people just like me, you know, coming from international background, as well as without any working experience, I highly recommend you to take Top Notch Resume as well as to watch Linda's videos because those are definitely going to change your perspective in the job search and definitely going to help you to better approach to your employer and better present yourself. And I hope everyone have similar or different background as me can land a dream job just like me. Thank you. That's great. Thank you so much, Cherry. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. 
So if you are someone who is similar to Cherry, you have recently graduated, you might not have enough experience, or you have some years of experience and you want to find a new job, but you haven't been able to get the interviews that you want, then I highly recommend and Cherry recommends that you take Top Notch Resume. Feel free to click on the link down in the description box below and see yourself to the Resume Mastery Workshop, which is completely free. Take that workshop and from there decide if you want to pursue the program. And on top of that, if you want to take it a step further and you want to get one-on-one -on -one guidance and advice directly from me, then feel free to reach out to my website, lindarainer.com slash standoutgethired read through the page, fill in the application form. And from there, if it seems like we are a potential match to work together, one of my teammates will be reaching out to you directly. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Ready to get the job you want? Top Notch Interview is coming soon. For more info and free training, head to jointni.com.